watching this video for your sun, moon, rising sign, or Venus sign, um, but the moon's going to resonate the best for you most likely, so if you don't know your moon sign, check in the description box below and there's a link there that'll help you figure out what that is. You can also be watching this if your partner or ex-partner is of this sign, and a good idea is that sometimes when these videos come out right away, they're gonna resonate right away and sometimes they're not. So yes, a personal reading is going to give you the most accurate information, but also sometimes these energies don't click with us because these things haven't happened yet. They're going to happen mid-November or they're gonna happen at the end of November. So keep that in mind too. You could bookmark it, come back to it, or you could just say fuck it all, I don't like this bitch. That's your prerogative. Um, but let's just get started with your video. Hi Aquarius. Um, okay, so November for Aquarius singles. What do we have? Sorry about the scarf, but it's making my neck itchy. Um, okay, so in general, what can you expect in the month of November 2017? Holy moly, this is amazing. So many signs have really good stuff gonna happen. So they're like, your happily ever after could be right here in front of you. You might not feel it, it might just sneak up on you out of nowhere, but so long as you decide that you're ready for love, boom, pop it, there it is. Love that. Okay, so what is it that you want? And so um, here's a problem. You're not exactly sure what you want. You're doing a better job of knowing what you don't want. So I would use that as an exercise in contrast. If you write down all the things you don't want in a relationship, write down two positive opposites next to it, throw away the list of the things that you don't, and then reread your list and add things to it of the list of things that you want, right? Because let me tell you, it's like you want fun, you want happiness, you want joy, you want all of this like love feeling, and you're not so paranoid necessarily about love. It's more of a not knowing what you want. It's not like you're a negative Nelly, um, but you're almost, um, by knowing what you not don't want, not necessarily that you're focused on it, but just kind of that knowing without really thinking about what you do, you're almost not really attracting much into your life per the law of attraction, um, except for people who are going to deceive you. So being that we started with the happily ever after card and then we have this one here, we really, really have to make an effort to keep our um, emotions and our thoughts very positively focused. Like a good affirmation for you would be something along the lines of I only am attracted to people who serve my highest good, right? Something like that. So. That's good. What is it that you need this month in regards to love? They're like, don't be defensive. Because like I said, that happily ever after person could show up. And so long as you decide that you're ready to welcome them into your life, great. But there are going to be some of you that are just kind of like, eh, not the right time. I'm busy having fun. Yeah. So um, they're like, this could be a fun adventure though too, with a lot of room for growth. Um, as far as like long-term relationships go and it'll also be exciting and silly and lustful and passionate but it does require you to really focus in on what you need or on what you would on what you want okay like you have a lot of ideas but you're not particularly focused you're a little ADHD this month so get that focus on okay now what is it that you need this month Aquarius Emotional balance. <laughs> okay, but how do you achieve that? And they're like, by maintaining that attitude that you have, like that you're not like really paranoid that you're in some sort of shitty 
bullshit pattern that you make decisions, but then actually making the decisions, okay? Following through on those, actually taking the time to think. Um, how is it that we go about getting what we want? We've kind of already answered this. They say um, you're not going to be able to just like divine that. You know, it is a month of co-creation where you do have to go out, you have to celebrate, you have to have a good time, particularly in groups of three is going to be awesome. Um, and it's not just because there's three people in this card here, but it, I mean, I guess it sort of is, but it's also because um, when you're in a group of three, right, you're more approachable than when you're in a pair. So let's say I go out with two girlfriends, okay, there's going to be some hot guy who wants to talk to us. It's easy to single out one of those females, but if it's too engaged in conversation, they're intimidated and they can't really come up and talk to us. Anything larger than three is very intimidating. That's a lot of women who are going to judge me, right? You can single one out in a group three. And this applies um, in like not just same sex groups. Like, you know, if you go out in a group of three as men or as, you know, um, two men and a woman or Two women and a man, whatever. But groups three is the key this month for Aquarius in meeting somebody. Um, so also to be noted with that, like you could be meeting somebody at like um, a party, like a Halloween party or a Thanksgiving thing or a baptism, a wedding, like those kind of celebrations are going to be places where it's very likely you could meet this person. Okay, so... So what is it that you need to release this month? And they say it's going to be a challenge, but um, I'm going to get some clarity on that. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is maybe for one specific person. Okay. Because this is very, very specific of a message. They're like, what do you need to release this month? And it was like, you're challenging views on marriage. And it's like, well, what could that mean? And they're like, well, you're very, very um, unwavering in what you think about it, about your opinion, and probably about like um, waiting till marriage to have sex. And that's fine. Like, you shouldn't go against your morals. But you might want to be a little bit open minded that not everybody's going to have the same ideas that you do so you know a good example of this would be that perhaps you meet your forever person and you're a virgin and you're waiting till marriage and your potential partner is okay with that but they're not right and so that's not an automatic disqualifier like is it less than ideal yeah especially because you waited but it doesn't mean they're not a good person for your life right okay so there's that but Let's get to um, the message of what is it that you need to release for the majority of Aquarius. And what I'm getting here is, um, again, kind of the same thing about like a really focused idea that you've held on to for a long time um, that your opinions are super strong on, okay? Like you might have even in um, college or something written a paper on why this idea is right or it's correct. You're being a little bit bullheaded here and not particularly open. So that's just something that could happen this month where it's like somebody really great for you comes in and when we're talking about it's a decision to be open to that or not, um, you might push them away because their ideas are not the same as yours. And it doesn't mean that you have to agree. But it does mean that you have to be open to the possibility that you're both a little right, that there's a gray area here. Instead of just like pushing out a potential like awesome person for your entire lifetime. Okay? All right. Couples. What's up? Couples. Aquarius. Um, okay. Awesome. Like day-to-day -day life is good. Your hormones are balanced. Everything's awesome. Nothing to panic about. <laughs> Um, what do you need to keep doing in your relationship? And what they're saying is stay in your relationship, first of all. <laughs> they're like, that's really good. If you're planning to take your relationship to the next level, that's good. Keep planning. Right now might not be the most favorable time for that, 
But um, so long as you understand that and you're working towards a goal, that's still good. And the other thing here is it's like if you're kind of taking control of the relationship and making some decisions and putting your foot down on some things, that's also something good for you in this month or at least good for your relationship because since you're coming from a place of such emotional balance and also grounded so much in reality and like how things work, you have a good understanding of that. In the month of November, um, you're a little bit more trustworthy, most likely, than your partner to make good decisions. Now, I did just do the reading for Virgo. Um, you could bump heads if you're in a relationship with a Virgo because they're also kind of in this space where it's like, oh, we're going to take control. So in that situation, it might be a little bit different. But they're like, you're coming from a really well-balanced place in the month of November. So what do you need to stop doing in your in your relationship in November? And they're saying um, if you're working a lot or if you're like really focused on like a hobby or a goal, um, they're like, don't give up on what you're doing. But you need to make sure that that's not the only thing that you're doing, right? That it's not your only focus. They're like, it might you might want to do something out of the box this month. Um, like out of the ordinary, it might be a really good month to not necessarily take a vacation, but just surprise your partner if that's not something that you usually do. Um, they say because this is going to create even further balance. And yeah, it's like, okay, I'm taking a break from this goal that I'm working on, this thing that I'm trying to achieve, whether that's, you know, money or a renovation project or something like that. But it's going to brighten you up a lot and it's going to make that work a lot easier because now you're going to be better supported by your partner in whatever you're doing because you took like the 30 minutes to do something that focused on them. Um, what is it that you need to know overall in the month of November? Um, okay, so they kind of want to keep talking about what we were talking about. Like even though that... Um, even though whatever it is that you're working on probably is really great for you. It's something that you both decided you were going to do. Um, it's blinding you from the fact that like your partner is trying to show you some love and maybe you're not like getting it. You're not seeing it. You're not paying attention to it. And that's really hurtful. And, um, your partner's not going to like come out and just say, look, I'm hurt that I'm trying to show you love and you're not even looking, you know? Like, you're not even accepting it. They're not likely to say that. And so um, some resentment could start to grow. And, like, you're coming from this place of, like, total emotional balance. And so they're going to seem completely irrational. But their feelings are valid, right? So they're like, try not to be defensive. If you are um, maybe feeling attacked by them a little bit, try to just, like, like that extra 30 minutes or like an extra 10 minutes a day to like really sit down with them and tell them that like you still care about them um, will go a huge way. It really will. And then they're like, just celebrate the things that are really, really good in your relationship. This is a really great month for Aquarius in general as far as like having a good time, feeling the feels, all that stuff. So, whoa. They're like, okay, <laughs> they want to just keep going back to that topic. Um, they're like, really go within and think about what your partner means to you and how they make your heart shine and figure out a way to express it. <laughs> okay, it's a little cheesy, but it's going to go a long way. Okay, um, in general, what's the lesson? Priorities. Hey, that's exactly what we're talking about. They are really hitting this point home, saying... I understand the paramount importance of manifesting love into every situation. So yes, you're putting a lot of love and time and energy into this situation, but you got to put some into your relationship too, even though it's stable AF, okay? Now, for those of you who are in between, like you're in an on-again, off-again relationship, or it's just maybe not made official because it's new, um, what do we have? They're like, try not to be defensive when things are brought up to you, kind of like the couples. And also be aware that other people speak different love languages. Somebody might be trying to show you love and either you're not interested or you're just not paying attention. You might be missing um, some pretty clear signals that somebody's into you. Or, um, okay, so I'll just tell you a little story quickly. When I'm divorced and when I was married... My ex-husband's love language was acts of service. I didn't know it then. I was really young, um, wasn't so spiritually evolved, 
And so I would come home and like he would have dinner ready and he would have cleaned the house, that kind of a thing. Very sweet because I hate doing that stuff. And I didn't necessarily understand that it was his way of showing me that he loved me and he cared about me and wanted my life to be easier. Things then that I wouldn't have to do. But um, instead I was taking it like, oh, like he's doing this because he's angry that I'm messy or because I wasn't home early enough or he thinks I'm a shitty cook, right? So it's just a perfect example of how sometimes people um, are showing you love, but you don't get it that way. Like you don't understand it that way. And so just be really, really aware and keep your eyes open to how those kind of misunderstandings could happen. And then when they call you out on it, don't be defensive, right? Because that's where we started with this part for you. Um, your overall lesson, trust. You have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice, like your intuition. So really have faith in it. Go with your gut instincts. So that is November Aquarius and see you in December. Bye.